My name is uh, Dr. Vicki Tenen, and I am in the Department of Chemistry and Geosciences. One of the first things I do in my introductory courses is I make sure that students understand that geography is just not studying uh, capitals and states and things like that. It actually encompasses three branches, the applied, the physical, and the human. And here at JSU, we're really kind of focused on the physical and the applied. So the jobs that you can actually get um, are varied. And most people will say to me, oh, do you teach? Well, it happens to be that I do teach, but most of my friends that came in my cohort in my master's program actually ended up working in business. So you can work in business. Um, I've also had students that have gone into the FBI or the CIA and um, I've also had colleagues that have decided to work with Fish and Wildlife or even with the National Park Service. Um, if you're into tourism you can actually get a lot of jobs doing uh, like tourist guides and things like that but um, it's just really a broad spectrum of jobs that you can do and especially if you get the geospatial technology. And if you kind of have a um, desire to be in technology, then this is a great program for you, uh, particularly if you get into, you know, the remote sensing and the GIS because there's a lot of computer-based programs. In the last few years or so, we've actually really started to develop uh, in terms of our technology. Uh, we're getting really high-tech drones and um, really high-tech equipment uh, to actually complete this program. My name is Dana Heron and I am a graduate student here at JSU. I am in uh, the master's program of the Geographic Information Science and Technology. I am a physical geographer. I'm interested in how the water is shaping the land, and so that's the geomorphology of things. That brief time after graduation in 2018, I went to work and uh, actually chased storms and collected stormwater coming off of the industries all over the state of Alabama, where you would typically have an outfall and be collecting a lot of times the water has kind of changed its direction and so that was one of the issues I was seeing out there was the outfall, designated outfall, was no longer a true representation of what was coming off the land. I can use the drones and uh, data management technology and things like that that is offered through the GIS program and I can actually map these changes that I'm seeing and I can create data forms that allows me to come out here and just you know, bubble in what I'm seeing. And I, I fell in love with the environmental and the physical side and how everything in the world flows with one another. So, you know, how the hydrologic cycle works and how the trees and how everything that's around us incorporates to the other. And, you know, we're stewards of the earth. And so this allows me to be a steward. This is a great department to, for me to work in. And it has been totally amazing to get a graduate program in the geographic information science and technology uh, because you can really see what we can do with geography when you have a graduate program like this. And it also offers uh, students to get a graduate degree here and because we are getting so much uh, technology and getting so developed in the program, um, it is going to be a very worthwhile uh, program to go into.